all the while getting more and more complicated. And according to our next guest, it's a $74,000 page of unintentional comedy. Here to explain is DeRoy Murdoch. He's a Fox News contributor and a nationally syndicated columnist. DeRoy, if you can make comedy out of the tax code, <laughs> uh, you're a genius. You think there's some comedy built into this because we start off with some difficult math. When you look at some of this stuff, it's shocking that we have to try to make sense of this. It's, it's amazing. I mean, this is uh, kind of like a stand-up routine that makes you want to cry. Uh, for example, there's a, a, a part of this thing is how you calculate the valuation of certain death tax scenario. And in order to do it, there is a very interesting formula which uh, lays out how you're supposed to calculate this. It looks actually like the formula for North Korean rocket fuel. This is on the screen. This is That's on the screen, and that's uh, in order to figure out what the, uh, what the valuation is of certain assets under the death tax. You need to do this. Now, if you're sitting down at your kitchen table, there's no way you're <laughs> going to figure that out, so you've got to hire somebody at three or four or $500 an hour to do this for you. It looks like that's absurd. It looks like something they found in a cave, like, yeah. you know, in ancient Sumeria. Yes, yeah, like or, or maybe a cuneiform writing or something. Or a cave at MIT in the physics department or something like that. There's also some baffling language, because I just printed out a Form the, the other day, my wife and I did to do some reassessments of property taxes, and this is what this form almost looked like. Read this for us, if you will. Yeah, this is uh, a definition of private foundations. It goes like this: For purposes of paragraph three, an organization described in paragraph two shall be deemed to include an organization described in section 501c4, five or six, which would be described in paragraph two if it were an organization described in section 501c3. <laughs> Obviously, what in the world does that mean? It's, it's, it's totally circular. It's like watching a, a dog chase its tail around and around and around. Who knows what that means? I mean, my wife's the smart one in the family. I'm the dumb one. I looked at the form, and I said, I can't figure this out. I don't know how to, how do we, I don't know what to do. And I handed it to her. She said, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, my source on this is a, a Professor Stephen Willis at the University of Florida Law School, and he has an entire category of tax humor, as he calls it. And he goes through the tax code and finds amazing examples of this sort of thing. He also talks about the humor and the fact that it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Growing and growing and growing. I mean, 100 years ago, when, when uh, Congress imposed the income tax, we had, uh, a grand total of about four or five hundred pages in the tax code. We're up to 74,000 pages now. That is equal to 57 copies of War and Peace without the happy endings. 57 copies of War and Peace. This is, uh, I think what we do is take the entire tax code, dump it. We should go to a 10% flat tax, everybody in, no exceptions, no deductions. What would you make last year? Send us 10%, see you next year, and just throw all of this overboard. Make Leo to uh, Tolstoy weep. Uh, DeRoy Murdoch, great to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Clayton, for good to see you. Happy Tax Day. Thank you very much. You as well.